What up, though? Ray Covery coming at you with a meeting after the meeting. So today we read out of the Alcoholics Anonymous 12 and 12, 12 steps and 12 traditions. And we read step seven, humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. A uh, couple of things, couple of things. Humbly, which basically is what the whole chapter is about, humility. Um, the word him was capital, so that lets me think that we're talking about God, and we're asking God for something, and shortcomings, things we fall short of, things, let me keep it on me, things that I fall short of, things that I come up short on. Um, so I can remember first stumbling upon the spiritual principle of humility. I know what humility was, um, but I didn't know how to practice this pr spiritual principle in all my affairs. And I remember asking my sponsor, I'm like, how do you practice the spiritual principle of humility? And he basically just told me that as long as you are remaining to be teachable you're practicing humility and I'm like okay cool like simple enough um, shortcomings I think we come up short like in life all the time a lot of things that we want or better yet that we need we don't obtain it therefore it's a shortcoming and you know I asked God to humbly hum, I asked God humbly you know to teach me how to deal with these shortcomings and and through sponsorship and through a, a loving healthy wife and healthy relationships and reading up on 12-step material and uh, hearing from my, my predecessors, um, God has taught me, humbly taught me how to deal with, you know, shortcomings, things when I come up short. He's humbly taught me how to deal with the things that come up in my life. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, life is a lot easier than it used to be since I been in recovery life has gotten a whole lot easier um, yeah putting down the dope uh, was 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 part of it but once I put put down the dope I still learn had to learn how to deal with me you know I still had to learn some life lessons and being involved in a in a recovery program has taught me that God has led me to this program and I'm so grateful and, and thankful for that um, I never realized this you know this story I'm gonna tell you a little quick story and I never realized how God was working this humility into my life until today until after we read step seven and you know I had this job uh, my first job as a peer support specialist and I'm working this job for this company and I'm loving it. I'm loving life. I'm loving my job and everything is great. Like, wow, this is the best job I've ever had in my life. So I thought. So I got sick and I had to be out of work for quite some time. And I, and I told them like, hey, like I got to go get some procedures done. I'm going to be out of work for quite a while. Um, are y'all okay with that? I ain't like, yeah, you know, go get healthy, you know, go get yourself right, and your job is secure when you come back, you know, your job will be here. So I'm like, all right, cool, bet. Go off on leave, and, and, and it's right, I had been working, I couldn't go off on FMLA, because I haven't quite been there for a year. I think I was there for like 11 months when I got, uh, when I got ill. I was there for like 11 months, so I couldn't take like, the FMLA and, and I, I take off work and I, I get better and I come back 
And I'm calling them and calling them, I'm calling my supervisor, I'm calling the director of, of the program, and I'm getting no answer. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? So I, I started calling my co-workers and, you know, I'm trying to figure out, like, why they ain't calling me back to work. You know, they said I could come back to work, like, what's going on? And after a couple weeks, they finally give me a call back and they want me to come in and have a meeting with them. And right then and there, I knew something was up. Like, that just didn't sound right to me. Um, I, I had a positive mindset, dog. Like, they're not going to fire me. Like, you know, um, I really, really do my job well. And they tell me that I do my job well. So I know they're not going to fire me. Well, they fired me. And it, and it was weird. It was it was a trip because I go into this meeting with my supervisor and the director of the program, and you know they asked me all these questions, and I'm telling them I'm better, and then they was like, "Well, we're gonna have to let you go," and I was so disappointed. I was so upset. To me, this was a shortcoming. You know, I, I really wanted this job. I really liked this job, and I came up short. So. Normally in the past, like, I would flip the script, you know. Some people about to get cussed out. I'm about to be doing some yelling and some screaming and some cussing. But through the program, through a recovery program, I was able to humble myself. I was able to tell them thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a peer support specialist at this facility. Thank you for all the things I have learned through your supervision and your guidance. This really has made me a better person and a better peer support specialist. Thank you for that. And when, and, and when I told them that, I wish y'all could have saw the looks on their faces. They had a look on their face like, I think we just made a big mistake by firing this guy. And it's like they couldn't go back on firing me. So what they told me was, well, give it six months to a year and you can come back and work for us. You can reapply and we will hire you back. But, you know, I don't want to work for you guys now. You know, you fired me after you told me, you know, my job was secure. Like, I don't want to come back and work for a company like that. Who knows what else they're going to try to, like, do to me. So, you know, no thank you. And by me, by God giving me this spiritual principle of humility, I was able to get this awesome reference from this company. And by them giving me that, that this awesome reference, I'm able to have the best job in the world. Like, I got the best job in the world right now. Like, ain't nobody got no job better than I. I don't care what you say. Like, I got the best job in the world. I really love what I do. Um, my sponsor was talking about uh, remain teachable. I think that's one of the reasons that I really love my job. Because I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much from the patients I serve. I'm learning so much from the supervision and the other staff and I'm getting knowledge on a daily basis and I love getting the knowledge. Um, I really ain't like one of those book dudes and who can go to school and just take tests and everything. I learn better hands on and I'm learning so much more about recovery and mental health that is really, really making me a better person, um, a, a more productive member of society. So with that being said, I'm going to remain humble, y'all. I'm going to remain spiritual, practicing spiritual principles. I'm going to remain loving life. Peace.